Welcome to the class. Travel. Look at the information. What's the weather like in London? In London, it's cloudy and raining. What's the weather like in Paris? In Paris, it's raining, cloudy, and about 13 degrees. What's the weather like in Berlin? In Berlin, it's 19 degrees and raining. What's the weather like in Madrid? It's sunny in Madrid with a little cloud. What's the weather like in Rome? It's sunny in Rome with a little cloud and about 17 degrees. What's the weather like in Geneva? It's raining in Geneva and it's about 12 degrees. What's the weather like in Lisbon? It's sunny in Lisbon with just a little cloud. What's the weather like in Dublin? It's raining in Dublin and about 10 degrees. Do you like travelling? Yes, I really like travelling. I like it a lot. Me too. Have you ever travelled by plane, by ship, by train or in a hire car? Which do you prefer and why? Well, I've travelled by all of those. I really like travelling by train because you can sit back and look at the scenery as you go past. And I think you get a very good idea or impression of the time that you spend travelling. You can really appreciate the distance that you travel. But obviously a plane is faster. So I think it depends on why you're travelling and how much time you've got. But I think my preferred option would be travelling by train. List the countries that you have visited. From all of them, which one did you like the most? Why? I visited quite a few countries in Europe. Spain, France, Italy, Germany. I've also visited the United States and Morocco. I'm not sure which one I like the most. I had a really good time in Morocco because it was just so different and the people were very friendly. Where would you most like to visit? I think the place where I'd most like to go is to Ayers Rock in Alice Springs, Australia. Obviously, it's a very long journey, so I'd like to go there for a few weeks if I could. If you had to live in a different country, which one would you choose and why? If I had to live in a different country... I think I would probably choose Italy because I really like the Mediterranean lifestyle. I like the food and the climate. I think it's a very interesting country in terms of architecture and art as well. So there would be plenty of places to visit. Which kind of holiday do you prefer? One where you spend most of the time sunbathing and relaxing on the beach? Or another one where you visit a lot of tourist attractions, museums, cultural buildings and so on. Why? When I travel, I like to do a lot of sightseeing. So I think I prefer a holiday where I'm quite active. Although I also like to take a few days out to enjoy the weather if I'm somewhere that's warm and sunny. I think I'd ideally prefer a combination of both kinds of holiday. When you travel, where do you prefer to stay? At a hotel, a bed and breakfast, a campsite, a hostel? Why? Obviously, I like staying at a hotel because it's very comfortable. But I think also I'd have to say I love camping because you feel very independent and free. If you have a good campsite or a good place to camp, it can be a really relaxing experience. But as I say, it is quite comfortable to stay in a hotel, especially if you're in a big city, obviously, where there's not much choice. What would be the advantages of travelling around the world? Can you think of any disadvantages? Advantages of travelling around the world would be the amount of different cultures that you experience and learn about. Different foods, different lifestyles, different habits, and meeting new people, making new friends. Disadvantages, 
possibly the time that you need to take to do something like that, and also the expense. Those are the two main disadvantages I can think of. Good. Imagine you are talking to a hotel receptionist. What would you say in the following situations? What do you say when you telephone a hotel to book a room? Hello, I'd like to book a hotel room, please. Are there any vacancies? You'd like a room for two nights by yourself. What do you ask for? I'd like to book a single room for two nights, please. You'd like a room for you and your partner with a bathroom. What do you ask for? I'd like to book a double room with an ensuite bathroom, please. You want a room for you and your friend with separate beds and a shower. What do you ask for? I'd like to book a twin room with a shower. You'd like to see the sea from your room. I'd like a room with a sea view, please. Ask if you have to pay extra for breakfast. Is breakfast included in the price? You'd like to find a cheap local restaurant. What do you ask for? Could you recommend a good, cheap local restaurant, please? The air conditioning in your room doesn't work. What do you say at reception? Excuse me, the air conditioning in my room isn't working properly. Could you send someone to have a look at it for me? How would you request a taxi? Could you call a taxi for me, please? You want to stay on an extra three nights. What do you ask for? I'd like to stay on for an extra three nights. Would it be OK to stay in the same room? Very good. That's the end of the class.